Beaver Town, it was partly sunny. The Jensen, it's Fulton, it was cloudy. Again, At Trenton, rain was falling with a temperature of 55. At Toronto, it was cloudy with a temperature of 52. Okay, Repeating, at 2 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time at the Syracuse Airport, the temperature was 64 degrees. This is a public information statement from the National Weather Service in Binghamton. This week is 2022 Winter Weather Awareness Week for New York State. The National Weather Service will feature a different educational topic each day this week. Today's topic is preparedness. Today, we will explore what precautions you can take to mitigate against New York's harsh winters and how you can become ready and more resilient. It has been proven that the best way to prepare for extreme weather is to have a plan. Never let a winter storm take you by surprise. If you are expecting to be at home or at work during an extreme winter weather event, you need to be concerned about losing power, heat, or cell, or phone service. Losing one of these three services may create a life-threatening situation. Make sure you have a backup plan. Whether you are at home, on the road, or at work, one should always have an emergency kit. An emergency kit should include the following, a flashlight and extra batteries, a battery-powered NOAA weather radio, food and water, extra prescriptions, an emergency heat source, first aid supplies, and a cell phone. The best action to take during a winter storm is to stay inside and not travel, unless it is an emergency. If you must drive, slow down and allow extra time to reach your destination. Let someone know where you are going and what route you are going to take. If your car gets stuck in a storm, stay in your vehicle. If you leave your vehicle, you could become disoriented quickly if there is wind-driven snow and cold. Run the motor for a total of 10 minutes each hour for heat. While running the motor, open the window a little bit so that fresh air can get into the car to avoid carbon monoxide poisoning. Make sure you clear snow away from the exhaust pipe to avoid gas poisoning. Attach a bright cloth to your car door to draw attention to yourself, and when it stops snowing, raise the hood of your car to indicate to others you need help. The following topics will be covered this week, Tuesday Lake Effects Snow and Snow Squalls. Wednesday, Nor'easters and Winter Storms. Thursday, winter flooding and ice jams. Friday, National Weather Service winter products. Additional information will be disseminated by social media platforms, Facebook at HTTPS, www.facebook.com slash Binghamton and Twitter at HTTPS, www.twitter.com slash Binghamton. Please join us by using the following hashtags, winter prep, winter, and area for additional information on New York Winter Weather Awareness Week, https weather.gov slash bgm slash wwawnyu can also contact Mark Pellerito at Mark at NOAGov for additional information about 2022 New York Winter Weather Awareness Week. Clouds increase today ahead of the frontal boundary and... Happy Halloween, guys. See you tomorrow. We're all... Of this week, week, maybe on Saturday, I don't know. Okay, guys, bye.